Hello everyone. If you've stumbled upon those pesky pantry moths in your kitchen and are searching for a step-by-step -step guide to get rid of them, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll explore tried and true methods to banish those bugs, and I'll share the research that backs up our approach. So, let's get started, shall we? But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! 1. Identify the problem area. First, you'll need to identify where the moths are coming from. According to a study done by the University of California Statewide Integrated Pest Management Program, pantry moths often reside in stored food products. So, make sure to check your grains, cereals, and other dry goods. 2. Remove infested items. Once you find the source, remove all infested items and place them in a trash bag. Seal it tightly and dispose of it outside. It's a common method endorsed by experts, and it helps prevent the moths from spreading to other areas. 3. Clean the area. First, grab your vacuum cleaner with a crevice attachment to thoroughly vacuum the shelves and corners of the pantry. This is an essential step to remove eggs, larvae, and adult moths hiding in those hard-to-reach places. Don't skip this part, as researchers at Purdue University's Department of Entomology have emphasized the importance of removing every trace of infestation to prevent recurrence. Next, prepare a mixture of warm water and a mild detergent. Use a cloth or sponge to scrub the shelves and walls of the pantry. Make sure you reach into all the crevices where moths might be hiding. This will clean away any remaining eggs, larvae, and residue from the moths. It's a simple yet effective method that even the American Cleaning Institute recommends for general cleaning. Then, prepare a vinegar solution by mixing one part white vinegar with two parts water. Wipe down the area again with this mixture. The vinegar will help in disinfecting the area. Researchers at the University of Florida's Entomology Department found vinegar effective against various insects, and in this context, it aids in ensuring a moth-free environment. Now, it's time to use the hairdryer. Set it on a cool setting and thoroughly dry the cleaned area. Why a hairdryer, you may ask? Well, pantry moths and their eggs thrive in damp and humid conditions. A study done by the University of Kentucky's College of Agriculture has shown that controlling humidity can be an essential factor in managing pantry pests. Using a hairdryer ensures that the area is completely dry, thereby creating an environment that is less hospitable to the moths. Finally, inspect the area closely. If you see any signs of remaining infestation, you may want to repeat the cleaning process. It's all about being thorough and patient to ensure a moth-free pantry. 4. Store food in airtight containers. It's time to store your food in airtight containers. This helps in preventing future infestations. Experts at the Food and Drug Administration recommend this practice for food safety and preservation. 5. Use traps. Consider placing pantry moth traps in the affected area. The Journal of Stored Products Research has shown that specific pheromone traps are effective in attracting and trapping pantry moths. 6. Regular monitoring and maintenance. Regular monitoring and maintenance are key. A touch of lavender oil on the shelves can deter moths as they dislike the smell. Regular checks will help you catch any new infestations early on. And there you have it, a quick guide on how to get rid of pantry moths. Please remember, it's a common issue and entirely solvable with patience and the right methods. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.